This is my larger device. Again, there's not really a lot to it. We have two conventional lamps here. Regular light here, another lamp here. I'm not really looking at that, actually. Now, this is the device here that I'm going to demonstrate to you. Again, there is very, very little to this device. Wire is very important. Coil operation in here. And if there were any batteries in here, they were very, 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 very small, obviously. Are there any? No. Now, we're going to start the device by again taking two very small magnets, placing them here in the receptors I have for them. This meter here, set on zero, zero voltage. It's set at 200 volts DC, is the meter range. It's now put receiving zero voltage. Again, this unit is is uh, vibrating probably around it, an inherent vibration right around 6,000 hertz. This is where I monitor voltage output here. And the device is putting out 91.1 volts. Stabilizes 91.1 volts, 91.0 volts, right around 91 volts. Now to show you the current that this device puts out, I need to make a few attachments. This is a 120 volt socket case for the wall, 120 volts. There is nothing inside of here. There are no hidden batteries. The wires here connect directly to these plugs. Set this here, and I'm going to plug this in to the output from the device there. These are 60 watt Sylvania light bulbs. Actually, it is an alternating current. It's right around 6,000 uh, hertz. But uh, for all intents and purposes, it'll show up as DC. That's why the meter is set on DC. 91.2 volts. So, plug it in here. And voila, we have electricity. And let me get the other one out of here. Again, we have electricity. Across there and see what's happening. Again, I want to show you that move this box over here. I want to show you these wires traveling directly from this device through here into these two lamps where we have two 60 watt light bulbs functioning. 91.2 volts is the constant voltage output according to this meter right here. There's nothing around this machine. These things do put out a little heat. There's nothing anywhere around here on this device that could obviously generate 100 volts of electricity and 120 watts of power. There's no batteries. There certainly is not a computer capacitor inside of this device that could generate this kind of electricity. And not possibly a battery small enough to fit in this device that could possibly generate 
the amount of electricity necessary to light these two regular electric lamps. So, thank you for giving me the opportunity to show you this videotape and what I have made so far. I will be producing videotapes of larger equipment that I've covered with such devices. Uh, I have a device slightly larger than this which will operate, uh, puts out about 200 volts of electric power at uh, 20 amps. So as I continue to work on my project, I continue to be able to develop more electric power from the Earth's natural electromagnetic field.